All right, my next tip for you guys has to do with the brakes. Now, um, as you can see, I have set up different brakes on my bike, um, but uh, having the standard ones is okay. Um, just make sure that you switch out the pads for at least something decent. Um, a lot of people, and you'll see this if you ever read the reviews on Amazon or wherever you bought it from, um, the brakes is a very easy place for these manufacturers to put on cheap parts and save some money. Um, unfortunately, it is one of the most crucial parts. So, um, putting just different brake pads on will significantly help. That's what a lot of people say to do. Spend 10 bucks on just some brake pads that are, that are better. Um, because they're a hard component, um, so the composition of the brake is just all wrong. So it doesn't provide really good stopping power. Now, in me, in my case, after riding the standard calipers for a while, um, I started having problems with keeping the caliper straight where i break, and then one side would be rubbing against the rim. Um, it didn't matter how much I um, tightened it down and adjusted it, it started becoming a part where it was actually the, the springs in the back. Uh, there's two springs in the back on these. Um, the spring tension is off between them, and that's why it was doing that. Um, so I, you know, at that point, you know, I was like, um, well, I'm going to be stuck with this bike for a while, so I want to make it, you know, a legit road bike, so let's go ahead and upgrade them. So I upgraded um, to Shimano Midreach Brakes. There are two options you can get. You can get the Trekta R540s, uh, or you can do, at least in my research, so you can do those, or you can do the uh, Shimano 451s. Um, I would suggest getting the Shimano 451s if you're going to do this, um, because um, from what I understand is the Trektas do have a little bit of flex in them. Um, the one benefit you do get from the Trektas, however, is the fact that it actually, um, if you wanted to run fatter tires, which if you're trying to make this a speedy road bike, you're not going to want to do, but if you want to run fatter tires, um, it, it allows for bigger. Um, however, um, the one thing right now, if I would look at my mid-reach brakes right now, the one limiting factor is actually the fork in this case. So it's not a problem whatsoever. Um, but the one thing you got to keep in mind when um, switching to these brakes is they are a different type of fastening uh, system, and I forget what these are called, forgive me. But, so for these, um, you can see here that there are, it's one long bolt here, and there's a few washers and whatnot that go on and you screw it. And so that goes all the way through the fork. Now, on these, pardon me because I'm not taking it off, the bolt does not go all the way through. It has like an internal system. And then you have these special, um, I guess, washer-like nuts, I guess. Again, I don't know what they're called. Um, but you'll notice that they are thinner and then they have this fat part. Um, these won't fit in the standard hole that's drilled in the fork and the uh, rear triangle. So you're going to need to get someone to uh, do it for you or do it yourself. Just be very careful. Um, I don't know the actual drill bit size. I think it's like 5 sixteenths, but you should look up, do your research, or have an actual bike mechanic do it for you that actually knows what they're doing. Because um, if you screw if you screw it up, you can put just washers on the end of these if you drill it too big. Um, luckily, my friend who did it, um, who is a bike mechanic um, or used to be at pro shops and well, still does all bike mechanic stuff, he did it for me, and I got in there, and it works perfectly. And I absolutely love these brakes. Uh, you could also, if you get the Shimano ones, you can get black or silver. So. You want to go black? There you go. Um, I bought them for fifty dollars piece, so and I've liked them a lot, and it's definitely improved my confidence on the bike, knowing I have good braking speed. So um, definitely upgrade your pads, and if you need to upgrade the calipers, um, my suggestion kind of is ride the calipers till you need new ones. 
um, this way, you know, you're just using the part. Trust me, these are kind of cheap parts, so it might not be long before you need them. Um, mind you, I do ride almost every day on this bike, so I, I wear them through quite a bit. And uh, I will talk to you guys later with more tips on what to do to your road bike.